evening all so we will see the next topic that is the classification of survey uh, surveys can be classified in various categories uh, coming to based on instruments first one is change survey this is the simplest type of surveying in which only uh, we can take linear measurements but not the angular measurements So what is meant by chain surveying? It is a type of surveying which only we can take linear measurements. Uh, this type of surveying is done for surveys of a small extent to measure the boundaries of a plot or a land and also to locate the existing features. So in this method, uh, we will divide the uh, total area into uh, number of triangles where the triangles are measured directly in the field with the help of chain or tape. So here you can see the image of the chain. Here one link it will be equal to 20 centimeters. So one link will be equal to 20 centimeters. So he, generally 20 meters chain, 30 meters chain will be available. So the metal used is brass. So here you can see the brass rings at every meter length. So for every meter length, we can see a brass ring. So there will be a uh, 20 meters chain as well as 30 meters chain. So before the uh, tape, uh, the chain is generally used. The principle of chain surveying is to divide the area into number of triangles. So here you can see uh, different terms which we used in chain surveying. Here, if we consider A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D are the boundary points. So which we can call it as the main survey lines. So to measure the total area of this plot or these boundaries, we have to uh, take a longest distance line which is known as the baseline so to measure this total plot area as we discussed uh, the principle of chain surveying is to uh, divide the total area into number of triangles here you can see this baseline is dividing the total area into two triangles so the baseline is the longest distance so for uh, on for checking purpose we will draw a perpendicular uh, lines from the apex of the triangles, so which is known as check lines, which we call it as a check lines. So check lines is the distance measured from the apex of the triangle to the baseline. And also there will be a tie lines uh, for checking purpose for small distance. So here T1, T2 represents the tie lines. So here we will have main survey lines, baseline, and the check lines, as well as tie lines. So the points here are the main main survey stations, subsidiary stations, and tie stations. So main stations, as we have seen, A, B, C, D, in the diagram, that is the main stations. Here A, B, C, D, that is the main stations. And the lines passing through the main stations is known as main survey lines. And subsidi subsidiary stations are, uh, which will be on the baselines and it will be connected from the apex of the triangle. And the tie stations are the subsidiary stations taken on the main survey lines, lines joining the time st tie stations are known as tie lines. So T1, T2 represents the tie lines. So we will uh, fix these stations A, B at some distance by placing pegs, pegs, whether it may be a wooden pegs or iron pegs to determine the horizontal distance between them. And the positions of A and B is fixed by measuring their positions, at least considering 
three or two permanent objects. The follower holds one handle of the chain in one contact with the peg at station A. The leader takes the other handle of the chain, arrows and ranging rod and walks in the forward direction, dragging chain with him. So here, so from here, the leader will hold the chain and the follower will take the chain along with him. After the chain is stretched fully, uh, the follower steps on one side of the line with the ranging rod touching the handle. So the follower directs to leader to stand exactly in the line. The leader puts a scratch at that position or inserts an arrow. So arrow is the small iron pegs to locate the midpoints, between points. He then moves forward with the chain handle with the remaining arrows and ranging rod till the follower reaches the next arrow point. So that is about chain surveying. Well, come back, come, coming to the compass survey. So compass surveying is used to measure the angular measurements. So whereas chain is used to measure the linear measurements. So here in by using compass, we can measure the horizontal, horizontal angles. So the devices used to measure the horizontal angles are the uh, compass. Here uh, we have two types of compass that is prismatic compass and surveyor compass. Here you can see about uh, the diagram showing prismatic compass. So this is the prismatic compass here. Uh, this is the pivot and this is the object when. So from here you will see the object. So these are the few point, uh, few parts in the compass, prismatic compass, cylindrical metal box, pivot, magnetic needle to represent to represent the direction, and graduated circle that is 360 degrees ring, prism, object vane, eye vane, and the glass cover, sunglasses, reflecting mirror. So this is the 360 degrees ring, and this is the object when so working of the prismatic compass by uh, taking three steps that is centering then we will level then focus so these are these are the three steps you will follow during the measurements so this is the surveyor compass so surveyor compass um, does not have any tripods does not require any tripods Next, we will have bearings. Uh, bearings, we have whole circle bearing and the quadratic bearings. Whole circle bearing represents uh, from the north direction the total 360 degrees. If we, if we measure from north direction, 0 degrees, then the total bearing is known as the whole circle bearing. And if we measure from either north or south then it is considered as a quadratic bearing so in next class we will see about the bearings in detail thank you